Mike plans to build a porch with the floor plan below. In order for the porch to be up to city code, it cannot have a perimeter that is greater than 300 feet. Let me underline that. It cannot have a perimeter that is greater than 300 feet. Or another way to think about it, the perimeter has to be 300 feet or less. Find the perimeter of the porch using the floor plan below and determine whether or not its perimeter meets the city's code requirements. All right, so we need to find the perimeter of this porch. And just as a reminder, the perimeter is the distance around the object. Or another way of thinking about it is the sum of the lengths of the sides of the object. So to find the perimeter of this porch, we just have to add up these lengths of the different sides. So let's do that. So we're going to add up 40. We're going to add up 40 plus 20 plus 55, plus 30, plus 95, plus 50, plus 50. And we're adding, just to make sure we know what we're doing. And we make sure we've aligned them by place, which we've done here. The ones places are all aligned. The tens places are all aligned. So now let's start on the ones place. What is 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 0 plus 5 plus 0? Well, that's really just the same thing as 5 plus 5, which is 10. Write the 0, carry the 1, or another way of thinking about it, regroup the 1, which is really a 10, right? It's it's 10. The, the, the 1 in the tens place literally represents or the 10, so we put it in the tens place. And now we add up all of the tens places. So we have 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 5 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 9 is 24, plus 5 is 29. So the total perimeter of Mike's porch here is 290 feet, which is less than it is less than 300 feet. So it meets the city code. It could have even been equal to 300 feet. So we could have even said it just has to be less than or equal to 300 feet, and we meet our city code. So he can go ahead and build this porch.